Welcome back to the channel. What I have for you today is the PR stunt speed run. We're going to take all three of the PR stunts in Mexico, plus the two in the expansions, and we're going to see if we can get them done as fast as possible. First up, Speed Trap Callejon, and this one is a B700 BMW M3 from 1997. We need 115 miles per hour here. Um, I don't think I have one. I like to start from here. If I did have one primed and ready, but I'm probably going to have to go tune one. But let's look. Let's go to BMW. And what is this? E36? I have no idea. I am not I'm not a BMW man myself. Yeah, 97. We have one. Huh. Yep. Time to tune. All right, so this one I'm going to tune myself. B700. Let's go ahead and throw the race handling on there. Let's shake the body roll by getting some stiffer anti-roll bars. Now, nothing else here interests me. I think I'd maybe like to try all-wheel drive. I think the rocket bunny looks crazy. Let's switch to all-wheel drive. We're getting really close to B700 already. Let's see if we can get a wing to knock this down a bit. Okay, so these actually take it down a little bit i'm gonna pair just to get a couple more performance points and it's actually not that bad looking i'm gonna throw that sfla on there and let's go get some wheels because these are kind of ugly we can go with what we had on the 370z i think they look fire oh we can't space them out any Ugh. i guess because we got the wide body right let's go see if we can get any kind of performance gains there we go Actually, maybe we could get this. That's funny. Anything is going to drop it back. Let's put 265s out back and let's go for it. 141. Let's go ahead and bring the acceleration way back. We only have to achieve 115. 390s sound good. So here we are back where we started. Let's go. Sounds good. Looks good too. Just a couple little back and forths. Oh no, that's bad. That is a tough turn. Okay. I'm going to have to actually try and turn through here and let off. There we go. And there's 115, 20. Easy. I'm glad we tuned it. And we got it. We didn't have to rely on somebody else's tune. That's a pretty easy one, especially with no real performance, no real horsepower gains. We still need to do a B700 drift, but I think that's going to need a lot of changes. I might even build a completely different car, but for the speed zone, we need a hundred and pyramid of the moon. Okay. If these two challenges were a Venn diagram, there would be a severe amount of overlap. So I'm going to use the same tune here. I think B700 drift is going to be different so get this one out of the way we only need a hundred make sure your entry speed here is is as high as it can be because that's what's going to heavily weight your average 104 we've got enough credit to spend we can just run it out the back here 10360 easy easy there we go. Pyramid of the Moon complete. Now, let's go tune this. Uh, yeah, we'll just use the same car. I don't need to buy a different one. So for drift builds, I like to, of course, get the drift suspension. I like to get any kind of stuff we can that says drift. So we'll revert back to front rear. We need a drift diff, drift four speed, a little bit of a clutch. Um... Now for tires, let's go ahead. Actually, let's just leave that and then we'll bring this back. I would like to get drift tires, a 727 stock tires. So I'm going to switch to the RB motor and can we do anything to it? It's probably about all we can do. All right, there we go. Wow. Look at the ratios on this. I don't know if you guys can see it. My camera's kind of covering it up a little bit, but. We are way off. Let's go all the way over here to acceleration. As you'll see, those come back. You want to just make sure your top speed is not really being influenced too much. Plus, in drifting, you don't really need top speed. Let's get an aggressive 450 final drive. 
and there we go okay so settings difficulty manual there it is it's the one up on top of the mountain and we'll go right here it sounds good i really don't know if we're going to be able to drift it's going to be difficult here we go heavily relying on that e-brake not bad i like the rb the rb power it's rev happy we can get it up into the uh the power band there and spin these meats out back stock tire compound so not a drift kind of a challenge at b700 i didn't even look at what we need but i think this is going to be it i really do there we go, 91785, I believe. Let's look. Drift zone, precipice, complete. 75,000, so we blew that out of the water, that's awesome. Let's move on to the expansions. All right, for this one, in this expansion here, the Rally Adventure, we have La Contera, Danger Sign, 902.2 feet, A800 Aerial Nomad. So let's go look at our Aerial Nomad A800. We've got one right here. 799. Close enough. Man, can we get this? What was it? Like 902 feet? This is going to be light. 813. Woo! Not good. Not good. 88 more. Okay. I know I kind of screwed up there a little bit. Let's see if we can go here. Where are we at? Oh, we gotta go that way. I'm just trying to hit this road here at speed instead of coming off that jump. That's pretty good. That feels good. I think it was 900. Let's see. Ah, oh, man. I think I need to stay to the left a little more. Come on. This is it. Woo! This thing's pretty good. I'm having fun. La Contera complete as we eclipse the guardrail there speed trap horizon nexus in hot wheels park all right so it's this one right here horizon nexus we need 220 miles per hour and they're restricting us to a specific audi ttrs at a800 do we have that i like that they're in the a's we don't have to go too far audi and ttrs a800 is it this one is it the 2018 i mean i guess it's my best guess so yeah, you wanna you wanna come at it through these boosters. So let's actually use the wheel. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see what this will boost to downhill. These aren't really boosters, they're kinda like slow boosters. Wow. Okay, never mind. This thing goes that fast. That is crazy. I love when you're racing this part where you come down through this and hit those for the win. That's really good. That's a good time. All right, we're going to bring it in right here. Actually, let's keep going. Whatever. So at the end of this, we have the speed trap. I think this is going to be a one and done. Hopefully, this is the right car. Here we go. So as you see, it's slowly accelerating. Now we're going to get some gravity's help here. Wow. Free fall. Two, 220 almost. 219. Now we get the boosters. Now we're going uphill too. So it's going to be a little different. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Yes. That is insane. Whoa, we lost. We lost it. 
It gave me credit for drifting. That don't make sense. But there you go. We turned them all to gold. Pretty easy this week. This one, you just got to make sure you get a hell of a run to it. Okay. This one, make sure you have a tuned up Audi TTRS. And for those of you guys who don't tune that much, I think this is a perfect one here. Take the older 97 M3 and see if you can tune it to B700 to make it work for these three different challenges. At least the speed trap and the speed zone. It's really fun. And, and as I showed, you don't really need you don't really need horsepower. You just kind of need the stock engine and you need the things that will help you launch and turn. That's what you need. But if you need help, if you want any of these tunes I used, let me know. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow in the Event Lab Showdown. Later.